welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make the very popular dessert cart that you are going to love here we go which I am so excited about because I just know, I know that 2019 is going to be an amazing year. It's going to be my year. <laughs> um, this year I want to make projects that are on my wish list and by that I mean that I have a wish list of things that I would like to have for my events and I'm just going to start making them, right? Why buy them when I can make them? For cheap. <laughs> Alright guys, without further ado, let's get started with the video. I'm going to start off with painting and um, I like to get the painting out of the way so it can dry while I make the rest of the project. And right here I have a 23 inch wooden wheel that I got from Target. And I got two of these for 40 bucks. And um, if I was making the project all wood, I would totally leave it untouched because it is beautiful. I'm actually um, a little upset that I have to paint it, but I do want a white cart. So um, I guess for the next one, I will leave it in wood. All right, so I am going to go ahead and paint it in um, white. And this is a matte white. All right, so let's do it. Okay, so while I wait for the wheels to dry, I'm going to move on to the uh, main area of the carts, which will be, I guess, the tabletop where the desserts are going to go on. And um, this is melamine wood and it already comes in white. This is actually also called shelving wood. This is what is used um, in closets to make the shelves. And this piece came in three quarters by 48 inches, but I ended up cutting it and now it is three quarters by 36 inches. So the process is basically very easy. It's really not that complicated. It might be a little bit of time consuming, but it's pretty simple. So basically what I'm going to do is drill four holes on my melamine wood. And this is a 316 drill bit. So I'm going to be drilling all the way through on all four sides. And then I'm going to be using these ballisters. That's what it's called at the stores. I call them rails. This is what you see going up the stairs, the side part. And I'm using two designs. This one that is just a piece of wood um, came in 41 inches and I cut them into uh, 32 inches and these are going to be the legs. So these are going to go to the bottom. And this right here, I did not cut them, they're untouched uh, with the design. It's going to go on top, which is going to hold the roof of the cart. And I'm also going to be using four, so four of each, okay? And the way that these are going to be bonding together with the wood or, you know, keeping it together with the wood is with this dowel screws, okay? See them? There they go. So they're, you know, they screw on both sides, okay? So um, these are 5 16 inch by two and a half inches, okay? And they only come in one, so you're gonna need to get four of these. What I'm going to do next is screw this dowel screw into the legs, okay? And I'm going to pretty much um, screw it in halfway in, and then um, I'm going to put it through um, the uh, melamine wood, and then I'm going to screw the other part right on top of it. Right now, it may not seem to make a lot of sense, but I promise you it's very, very simple, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go step by step, okay? To screw in the dowel screw, you are going to need a drill. I am using a 316 drill bit. You're also going to need a plier, a rag, and of course, the dowel. 
Um, and you are going to first draw a hole through here. Okay, it has a mark already. And you're just going to go all the way down. And it should look something like this. Then you're gonna grab your dowel and you are going to place it right in there. Okay, see that? Okay, and this is where the pliers and the um, rag comes to play, okay? And my husband gave me some very specific <laughs> directions on how to do this, but um, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be following it, okay? So the, the purpose of the rack is so you won't, you know, you won't lose the grip, you know, once you start uh, turning it. So the uh, rack is going to protect it, all right? So I'm just going to turn it until it's in there halfway. So I decided to do less than half, just a little bit, uh, just because I want to take into consideration that the melamine wood is going to go here, and then the other uh, rest of it is going to go on the upper rail. So um, I'm going to leave it as it is. If I need to make any adjustments, I can just screw it in a little more. Um, but first, I am going to go ahead and make the holes on the melamine wood. What you see right now is me trying to figure out where I want my holes to be on my melamine wood. And what you see here in the middle is actually foam board. I'm going to be using foam board to make my back panels and side panels instead of wood so it can be a little more affordable. For the measurements all around, it's going to be two inches from this side and then you're going to have one inch front and back, okay? And then in order for you to measure where the hole is going to be, what you're going to do is grab your ruler and measure from the edge to the hole, which is half an inch, okay? So what you're gonna do is just measure half an inch and then you'll know where you have to drill the hole. Alright guys, so um, the hole is too small. <laughs> so now I'm trying 3 8 which I think is going to be perfect. Uh, I'm just going to go very slow though. I'm going to flip it over in order to place the legs right on there. Okay, so the legs are on, but it's a little wobbly because I need to place the other rails right on top. And for this one, you're gonna have to drill a hole right on there, as you can see, where is it? There you go. Okay, and I use a 316 uh, bit for that, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and screw it right in. And there it is. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be polishing the look of the cart. And I got this edge banding. This is a white iron-on melamine edging band. So basically what this is, um, as you can see, there's exposed wood right on the melamine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is place this band right on it so you can cover that up. Okay, and you're supposed to iron it on. So I am going to show you what you have to do. First, I'm going to sand the wood to make sure that it's smooth once I place the tape. According to the instructions, I have everything that I need. Um, I cut the band longer than what's needed, just a little bit. And behind it, you can see the glue, okay? So that's how the iron comes into place. It's going to melt the glue once you iron it. And then you gotta have something to smooth it out. It says a block of wood or a roller. I don't have neither of them. So I'm using my wood spatula. Close enough, right? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on.
As I said earlier, I'm going to be using foam board to make the back panel of my cart. And I made this little um, swirly shape. <laughs> um, you don't have to, you can just make a straight line and just place it on the back and also on the sides. But I decided to make this one for the back and this one for the side. So now what I'm going to do is use my X-Acto knife and cut them out. Now I'm going to be placing the panels on the cart and I'm going to be using hot glue for bond. And here I'm going to be cutting my side panels. This is basically one full foam board and I measured it and I just traced a line down and I'm just gonna get my sacto knife and cut it and then I'm going to glue it on the sides. One side panel, another one to go. Next, I'm going to be making the top of my cart or the roof of the cart. And it's going to consist of four foam boards and I'm going to be taping two together at a time with clear packing tape. Once you tape both sets together, you are going to make these into one. So you are going to tape them together as so. So once they're all taped together, it should look something like this. Okay, this will be the front and this will be the back. But before placing it on there, I'm going to dig little holes at the bottom of each side on four sides. So I can place this sheer ribbon. This is a very thin ribbon, this is 3 8 And I'm going to place it so it can keep the roof from pulling apart. So the top of the cart is only 22 and a half inches, but I want the roof to be, or to go over the rails instead of on the rails. So I'm going to give the ribbon some slack. So it's going to be about 29 and a half inches instead. Uh, so I'm going to give it about seven more inches. And there it is, we have a roof. Now I'm going to move on to my front and back panel. And in order to make this one, you're gonna to have to use your wheel to cut out the shape of the wheel on here. So what I'm going to do is place this one right on here. And then I'm going to bring this over where I want it to be. So right about here, okay? And then you are going to draw the wheel on here. And then you're going to cut that part off. I hope you were able to see that. <laughs> and there it is. Now I'm going to disappear into the back to glue this on. To mount my wheels, I'm only going to be using thumbtacks and hot glue. I don't want it to be permanent on the cart. Uh, I wanna be able to take it on and off. And um, I think in that way, it will not damage my legs as well. So I'm just going to um, hammer this in, add a little glue around it, so it can be snug around the wheel hole right there. You're gonna to have to play around with the hot glue in circular motion. And I'm sure there are many other ways <laughs> for you to mount this, but I'm pretty much using what I have. Once you've gone over it a few times, it should look something like this. All right guys, this is it. This is my dessert cart and it is absolutely outstanding. I must say guys, I am wowing myself on this one. <laughs> this is so 
cool you can use it for any occasion guys and it was so easy to make it's a little time consuming but oh my goodness it's a cart <laughs> i also added script stickers from michael's to spell celebrate and of course you can change it into wedding baby shower or the name of the person whose party is going to be for love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and make sure to leave in the comments below what you think of my dessert card also let me know other projects that you would like to see in the future because right now I'm feeling very creative <laughs> so make sure you leave that down below and make sure to share 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 with your friends and family members if they're gonna have a party soon and yeah, make sure to also join if you haven't joined this channel because there will be a lot of nice perks coming up in 2019. All right, guys, until next time.